Hey everybody, welcome back to another homemade MRE video. While we're introducing this video, we're gonna set up our cooking system for tonight. For those people that keep commenting that they can't afford the expensive gear that I'm using, let's set up a $6 sterno stove with a can of fuel that you can get at any Dollar Tree. And on top of that, we're gonna use a mess kit that was given to me by a friend who found it at a thrift store. So for those of you who keep saying that I'm using a bunch of expensive gear to cook this, all we need is a pot to boil water in. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. And we're gonna go ahead and get it started because Sterno is not a high heat cooking system. So we're gonna get this going while we introduce the video. So without further ado, for this MRE, I went to a store I've never been to before. I went to a Super Low Foods supermarket. One thing that stood out to me when I walked into Super Low was how much this store was like every supermarket when I was a kid. I feel like this place hasn't changed much and that's probably part of its charm. For all the supermarkets that every week are rearranging the stores and reworking the way they do things, Super Low seems to be latching onto a system of either nostalgia or just not spending a bunch of money on making the store look fancy and spend more time on stocking the products that people need at the prices they can afford. I know, it kind of sounds like a commercial, but that was my observation of the store. So with that out of the way, let me introduce you to the Dad Budget Adventures Homemade MRE Model SL1. So one of the things that stood out to me once I started looking for my MRE items was that Super Low Foods has a very traditional stock, and it was difficult for me to find the items that I needed in order to prepare this MRE. So while it's not a standout as far as the contents are concerned, I was able to get everything that I needed to follow the rules and make an MRE from a singular location. And speaking of the rules, let's go over those real quick. Now, I know these rules tend to be a sticking point for some people. A lot of people really like the rules. Some people, not so much. But we're gonna stick with that because it keeps the variety, the integrity, and the interest in what goes into these meals, and it keeps me from getting lazy. Rule number one is that everything in here must be able to be eaten straight out of the package. Doesn't mean we gotta eat it that way, just means we have to be able to in a pinch. Rule number two, every component must have at least a one year shelf life or best buy date from the day that I buy it. That is simply to ensure that the products that are in here are as fresh as possible when I get around to eating them. Rule number three is the menu. The MRE must have an entree, a side, a walking around snack, a dessert, and a beverage. Now, right now, there's still a debate going on from my last video as to whether I should start including an extra item as a calorie or protein booster. We're still not to a point of saying that this is gonna be a permanent addition, but for this video, I did that. I added an extra item, and this one is gonna be a little bit of an experiment. And now the time has come. Let's tear this thing open, and let's see what's inside this MRE. First thing I'm gonna pull out is our entree because we need to get it in that pot and get it cooking. For the entree, I took a chance on this one and it may seem a little repetitive, given that you've seen a similar product very recently in one of my other MREs. But because Super Low has the kind of stock that it does, they don't carry a whole lot of shelf-stable prepared foods. So I had to go with this standard and as bad as the last one was, we're gonna try another completes. This time, we're gonna try the chili. Now, I've had some viewers say that when it comes to the completes, the things that have gravy and potatoes in them are a disaster, but some of the other stuff is pretty good. We're gonna give this a chance. The great thing about the completes is they come in a bowl that you can eat it out of if you choose. We can also cook it in that, and that's what we're gonna do tonight. But there's also a pretty fair amount of protein in these. This particular entree has 17 grams. Before I put that in the mess kit, I gotta show you one more thing because it's gonna go in there with it. For our side, I got something that a lot of people keep recommending that I try with chili or beef stew. And that is one of these packs of fully cooked rice. Now, I don't remember the brand because I took the packaging off and put it in the MRE because it wasn't necessary. It came in a pack of two of these. You'll probably see it in the overlay here. Now, this is another one of those points of contention for a lot of viewers who keep saying that I'm breaking my own rules by cooking this because the rice has to cook or whatever. This rice is fully cooked, and while it might be a little more al dente than you prefer, you could eat this straight out of the container. Chances are, if that was my option, if I had to eat this cold, I would probably reserve this for later when I could actually cook it. So no, I'm not 
breaking the rules. We're just kind of bending it a little bit because once again, there's not a whole lot of options out there when it comes to homemade MREs. There's not a lot of companies that are specifically making products with the intent of you being able to rip it open and just eat it out of the package. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our chili and our rice into our mess kit and let those be cooking while we look at the other things that are in the MRE. Let's get this out of its outside packaging. Drop this down in here. The water's already really, really hot. And I'm gonna break the seal on this and then get our rice down in there. And we're gonna cover that up. So while that's cooking away, let's explore the other stuff that we've got in this kit. For our walking around snack, I picked something that's a little on the expensive side because I was having a hard time finding things that fit this particular category that had a qualified expiration date on it. So I had to go a little more expensive and buy a larger bag of something, but I got these dried blueberries. These are from Best Choice. I'm guessing this is the Super Low Foods store brand. These things I think will be a great walking around snack. A little bit of extra energy, some natural sugars, and everybody loves blueberries. Maybe not everybody. Some people don't. Now this particular package has two servings in it, so we'll get to double up on whatever calories or anything else that we need from this by eating the entire bag. But once again, you don't have to eat all of this, at least not at once. You can eat some of it, put the rest in your pocket or your pack, and then go back to it later. Also, this one has a Ziploc top, so once we tear it open, we can reseal it and not have to worry about ruining the contents. All right, our next item we have is our beverage. This time I picked up one of these Kool-Aid singles. This is cherry flavor, and this particular pack has two servings in it. Now this says that it contains less sugar, so I believe there is some real sugar in this, and then it's probably blended with some artificial sweetener. But I love cherry Kool-Aid, always have since I was a kid. So I'm anxious to try this and see how it works out. And of course, with it having two servings, I can either fill a larger bottle or I can put half of it in, put half of it away. Next is our dessert. This was the hardest item for me to find. I went through every shelf in that store to the point that the employees were starting to look at me a little funny, but I finally managed to find something that I could use. Now, I can't say that this is something I've never had. I grew up eating these things like they were about to be outlawed. What I got was a Milky Way bar, and this is the shareable size, so it's really technically two candy bars, but I think this will be a really good dessert to go with this meal. Once again, chocolate's always a winner. It's a mood booster. If you're in a bad position, and you've got some good chocolate, you're already feeling a little better about the spot that you're in. And finally, we have our bonus surprise. For this particular one, I included an extra Mylar bag, kind of like the beverage bags that come in a standard military MRE. And the reason for that is because we have a drink mix as our bonus item. That drink mix is Carnation Instant Breakfast Powder. Now this is intended to be mixed with milk, but we're gonna experiment with it today. We're gonna try it with water and see what we end up with because most people aren't gonna be transporting milk if they're going out someplace where they're gonna be using an MRE. Now you could have powdered milk. That could be something that we would add. They just didn't have it at the store that I went to. So we're gonna go with water, but this is a great way to get a little bit of extra protein, some sugars, some calories in the event that you need it. Now this being the bonus item, you don't even have to use it. But if you find yourself needing something a little extra, that's what this is for. All right, so let's dive into this and see what we've got. I'm gonna start with our walking around snack, our dried blueberries. Let's tear this open and see how these are. Now at the price point that I paid for these, they really better be good because I can excuse dried fruit if I'm buying it at Dollar Tree and it's not great, but this was not cheap. And I don't know if blueberries in particular are just an expensive item right now, but this cost a lot more than I expected it to. Let's see what we got. It's a pretty substantial amount of blueberries. They smell more like potpourri than they do blueberries. I mean, it's, it's definitely blueberries, but uh, it's not what you would expect. But it's not an off-putting smell. It's just more like a floral scent than blueberries. So let's see what we've got here. They're very light. They feel kind of like raisins. They're soft and pliable. They're not dried out to the point that they're hard. But let's give it a try. See what we got. There's a little bit of a bitterness to these on the back end. When you're chewing them, they're very much like raisins. The flavor is very similar to raisins, but there is that blueberry edge to it. So if you're not a fan of raisins, this may not be for you. 
but that is a refreshing flavor overall. But if there's something in the texture of raisins that's, that turns you off, then you're not gonna like these because they do have that mouth feel that's very similar to raisins, they're just smaller. But those are good, I like them. I'd be glad to eat these if I was in a disaster or if I was out camping or if I was just hungry. They're not the ideal item to add to your kit, but if you're not too worried about the cost, then these are good. All right, so let's move on to our beverage. And with this being a double serving of Kool-Aid, it requires 16 ounces of water. We've got that in our jar here. This was the only container this size I could find, so don't jump on me for my redneck glassware. Let's get that in there. Ooh, there's that rich cherry Kool-Aid smell. I know some of y'all out there's mouths are watering right now just at the thought of it. Get that mixed up. And there it is. Yep, yeah, we've got that super rich smell. Very sweet smelling. Let's give this Kool-Aid a taste. Yep, that is perfect. This is a lot better than a lot of the other drink mixes that I've tried because I think this has a little bit of real sugar in it. So it's got more of a taste of what it was intended to taste like. Once again, if you grew up on Kool-Aid, this is going to be something that's going to offer a little bit of comfort and a little familiarity. So if you're having to break out your MREs because of a disaster, this is a good one. And moving on to our experimental bonus item, let's see what happens when we pour our Carnation Instant Breakfast Mix into our makeshift drink bag and then add water instead of milk. Let's see if this is gonna be drinkable. I imagine it's gonna taste a little bit like Yoohoo. So this says it has 13 grams of protein, but part of that is probably from the milk that you're supposed to mix it with. So the downside to mixing it with water is that we are gonna miss out on some of the intended nutrients that we would have gotten had we used milk. It's not really what we're doing here. All right, so let's pour this in here and let's add our water. Now, the great thing about this is you can do hot water or cold water, just depending on what you want. We're gonna go with cold water. Let's mix it up. Now, the Mylar bags that I use to package my MREs, I've had several people ask about them. They are available on Amazon, and it comes in a pack with three or four different sizes. You see the standard one I use for the MREs, and this one that I'm using for the drink bag. There's a smaller one, and I think there might be one, another one in between these two, but it comes with a variety of sizes. And there will be an affiliate link down in the description box if you wanna go check them out. Mix this up really good. It's usually a good idea when you're mixing things like this to roll the bag down a little bit, just in case the seal's not that great. Now we could drink this straight out of the bag, but I'm gonna pour it back into the glass that I got the water out of, just so that we can see it. So remember, this is our bonus item that we're using in the event that we need some more calories, some more nutrition or whatever after we've eaten everything else that's in this kit. Now, you don't have to limit yourself. One of the things about these kits is this is for you. This is customized for you, the way you want it. You eat what you wanna eat when you wanna eat it. But for my purposes, this is an extra item in the event that I need it later on. I've never tried Carnation Instant Breakfast made with water instead of milk. So let's see if this is even palatable. It's got that smell that's kind of like protein mix. It's, I mean, it smells powder even when it's reconstituted. So, all right, let's give this a shot. It's very bland. It doesn't taste bad, it's just bland. I could have mixed it with a lot less water. It would have been a richer flavor, but this is not bad. This is not unpleasant. It is a little strange though, because with Carnation Instant Breakfast, you're used to that kind of creamy texture to it. And this is very much a thinned out version of that. But if you don't like the taste of standard protein shakes, this is pretty decent. It's not gonna have as much protein in it, but it's a good way to get a little extra but it is a lot like Yoohoo, but it's a little thinner flavor. So our dinner is done. We're gonna get this plated up so that you guys can see what we've created. Let's dump out this rice. Let's get our chili in there. I've got to show you guys something that came in the mail this week. Now you may have heard me before mentioning the Amazon wish list that's in the description box below. It's just a list of items that you can send to help the channel along or just to say thanks or to just be supportive. And today I'm going to use this Tapiris 
Tapiris Sport that came in as a gift from a viewer. This was from Robert W. Gregory. Robert, thank you so much. This thing is so neat. I've been needing a long spork and I don't like the titanium sporks because I don't like the way they feel on my teeth. So this thing is really going to come in handy. Now, one thing that's really cool about this is that it's a tactical spork and it has some extra stuff hidden in the handle. For example, there's a ferro rod at the very back and there is a knife about halfway back. You can use this to eat, this to cut things, and this to make a fire. <laughs> Didn't expect that. All right, so let's put this back together and let's use our tactical spork from Mr. Gregory to help us enjoy dinner. All right, so let's break up this rice a little bit, get it mixed in with our chili, and make sure that we are doing this properly. So do you eat rice with your chili? I know a lot of people do, and a lot of people have never heard of it and think it's weird. Drop a comment down below and tell me where you stand on the rice and chili thing. This doesn't smell terrible. It does have a bit of a sharp odor to it that's coming off of the chili. I found that with a lot of packaged chili, it does kind of have that sharpness to the aroma. But everything got sufficiently cooked with our sterno. All right, so let's see what we ended up with here. So it's a pretty decent proportion of rice to chili. I wasn't really sure how that was going to play out. If I were using the pouches of rice, there would be way too much rice in here. So the smaller little cups, that's just the right amount of rice to add to something like this. If you saw my last video with the MRE from Big Lots, you might remember that I tried one of these completes meals and it was no bueno. So I'm keeping my expectations low. Up close, it doesn't smell bad. It, it's not as, as horrible smelling as the chicken was. All right, let's give this a shot. We got a little bit of rice. Got some chili, got some meat, and some beans. The chili is not bad. It has a very Chef Boyardee kind of taste to it. Like if Chef Boyardee made chili, this is what it would taste like. The meat tastes less like meat and more like textured vegetable protein. So I have a feeling it's a combination of the two. Let's get one of these beans. The beans are good. I don't hate this chili at all. It is much better than the other complete meal. I've had a lot of viewers comment that they hate the Hormel Completes across the board, that there is nothing they like about them. So I'm sure some people are sitting there retching watching me eat this, but I don't dislike this at all. This is, this is actually decent. Easier to keep up with than a can of chili, a little bit smaller portion, so it's easier to regulate what you're eating. But as we've discussed before, with all the people coming, there's not enough calories in these MREs. We're not making these for combat soldiers. We're not making these for people that are trying to hike the AT. We are making these for people that are either in a disaster or going camping or doing something else that doesn't require a whole lot of extra calorie intake. Yeah, this works. The, the rice is just right. It complements the chili really well. I would do this again. Overall, I would say so far, this homemade MRE from Super Low is a success. Let's get a little bit of our Kool-Aid moonshine. Thanks again to Robert Gregory for that sport. That's a really cool little item, and it's perfect for doing stuff like this. By the way, the little mess tin that I was eating out of was an item that I got from Timu. Trying out some camping gear from them, and I got that. It comes with this other little baby tray that um, if I were feeding a child, that might work. The pan seems to work okay. All right, we have one item left to try. Our Milky Way bar. Get into this chocolate, y'all. Like I said, this is the shareable version. It comes with two. And speaking of things for two, I'm currently working with my wife on an MRE for two video. We went out and we got all the items to make it, but we haven't shot it yet. I was thinking about saving the video for whenever I hit 15,000 subscribers. So if you'd like to see that, let me know. Leave me a comment down below and tell me that you want to see that video at 15,000. Also, if you want to help us get to 15,000, be sure and like this video, share it, tell all your friends about it. All right, let's give this a try. Our Milky Way shareable. Look at that caramel pull. The caramel is so chewy. I started trying to say something and I couldn't even open my mouth. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Follow some chocolate with chocolate. I do think this would be better if the water were hot. Yeah, I think if I had this to do over again, that's what I'd do. Put this in some hot water. You got yourself something there. 
All right, so that is it for my homemade MRE from Super Low Foods. If you're a fan of Super Low, give them a shout out and tell me if you've tried any of these things and what your opinion is of them. Also, if you know of a location where I can go and build one of these MREs, keeping my rules in mind, let me know because I'm always looking for new places to try. And if I wanna keep this ball rolling, I'm gonna to have to find some more places. I'm running out of options here, people. But seriously, that's it for this one. I'm gonna wrap this up. And until the next one, prepare for the world that you live in, not the one you wish existed. We'll see you around. <laughs>